Right here in front of me, I have a bunch of different flashlights ranging from all different prices. And we're gonna go over the specs, the usability, and let you know what I think, which is the best flashlight. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Here on Gas Tax, we help you figure out how to outfit your dream garage. And today we're talking about flashlights for your garage. So first off, we're gonna start with the cheap lights. These two lights came in a pair of two of these and then another packet was two of these. And uh, I bought these at Costco many, many years ago. And I would say they were sub $20. They are not rechargeable, they just work off uh, AAA batteries. And, you know, this is a magnet, um, and it only has one brightness on and off. Uh, with this one, it is also working off um, AAA batteries. And it has a front light, and then a flashlight mode, and then it also has uh, a magnet. So these ones were the ones I used for the last three years. Uh, I have the two different ones mainly because I work on motorcycles as well as well as cars and normally when it's dark um, sometimes you, you need different shapes of lights to get into different things and I found that I use this one more often than actually this one don't know why maybe just the, circ uh, the certain circumstances uh, this one does have a little clip in case you want to put it on your pocket but these are generally good lights just to have around uh, very cheap, uh, no charger, you can replace the batteries when you need to, very simple option. I do recommend these for basic usage, so if you see these, I'm sure this one is branded Caterpillar, I'm sure they just generically branded whatever. Don't mind them, but if you're looking to step up onto your uh, work flashlights, we do have uh, the Sonic Midiform uh, work lamp with the top flashlight. So this baby runs for $100 on Sonic. I have seen them branded under different brands, but let's go over the specs of this. So firstly, this is a rechargeable plug-in um, light. It comes with a separate USB charger and a plug. You plug it and it charges. Uh, it has a three hour charge time, a top flashlight. And with this flashlight, it puts off 75 lumens. Um, and it will run for three hours on the flashlight. If you want to use the front light, it's 150 lumens and also three hours. There are a couple different mounting options with uh, this light. Firstly, there's the magnet, and then there is a, a hook on the back as well. So I like the two different options there. This, I would say, is a very versatile light. Obviously, it's expensive, it's $100. It is compact per se, but over the last six months or four months while I've been rebuilding my 2004 VWR32, I have been using this light much, much more. And let me go over the specs of this one. This one's called the Sonic 3-in-1 uh, Slim Pocket Size Light. It is, first and foremost, it's a flashlight. Then it has this light bar. It has two different modes. So charging time on this baby is four and a half hours. Run time with this uh, light bar is two to two and a half hours, depending on the brightness level you use. And on the flashlight, it's five hours. I've personally never used the flashlight. I've only used uh, these uh, light bars here, and nine times out of 10, it is on the brightest, mainly because I'm filming everything I'm working on. Why I love this one? Well, firstly, this has the most adjustability. There is a magnet. Uh, let's put that on that mode and then uh, you can adjust how you want this light. Say I'm working on brakes, I'll be able to stick it on the side of the car and then I will be able to adjust where I want that light focused. So I personally have been using this light non-stop. It has uh, been doing great. I'm 100% sure you get it in different brands and uh, you can see I've used it so much that the brand is actually rubbed off on these. One complaint, this happens on everything. Sonic's color is red. My hands are oily when I work on this and then I do try to clean my tools. All the oil has stained the rubber. I do not like that at all, but that's what it is. I recommend this light hands down. This one is also $100. 
So if you had hundred dollars to spend, definitely go for the three in one. Now this light, I'm gonna unbox now. This is something that I saw Chris Fix recommend, and this is all he uses on uh, working on his car projects. So let's open it up and go through the specs. Alrighty, so here is the light that Chris Fix recommends. Uh, out of the box, it has some charge. Uh, let me just go over, it is a lot bigger than the Sonic. Less compact, doesn't fold up nicely. One thing I did forget about the Sonic is it does have a magnet mount and then it also has a hook so you can hook it on some things. So two ways to mount this light as well. Never use the hook, um, but be careful. Anything with a magnet does pick up your metal shavings. When you put it on a car, make sure you clean it off so you don't scratch your car. So with the Astro 650 lumen light here, Obviously, it's 650 lumens where the other ones are 500. Much bigger light bar. Uh, it is a much bigger light. Pros and cons of that is obviously you will be limited where you can put it. As far as the adjustability of this light, uh, that's as far as it bends. I would say at a less than a 45 degree angle. Now, with the Sonic light, I am definitely able to point my light at 180 or nearly 360 degrees. Uh, so I would definitely say the Sonic 3-in-1 for the most versatile uh, light. Uh, what I do like about this is it is fully adjustable as far as the brightness. It's not one or two modes, it is fully adjustable. Another great thing about this is there is actually a battery uh, LED icon here. None of the other lights I've talked about have that and that to me is a huge plus. Again on this light there is also a flashlight. Separate button on the back turns it on. So let's go over 650 lumens. It has a two and a half hour to seven hour battery life depending on what brightness you're on. So obviously bigger light, bigger battery in there. It'll be able to last longer. It is also a four and a half hour charge, but I do think this is a great light. Obviously, Chris Fix, he's been working on cars many, many years. Uh, if he recommends this, uh, it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So there is a magnet and there is a hook on the back here. So there's two different mounting options. So far, I like it, it feels, feels a good quality. Um, but I do worry about the size of it and then the versatility of it uh, compared to this because this is the one I use. Now let's talk about price. This is $57, so nearly half the price of, of this. I do think this is 10 times better than this as far as the brightness, as far as the versatility of this, as far as <laughs> the, the battery life. So. I, I would recommend this, but be sure to like and subscribe to actually see my first-hand reviews on this light because I'm going to be using this a lot more. So there we have it guys. There are five different light options that I have used or am going to use. Uh, right now still I would 100% recommend this baby, the 3-in-1 Slim Light from Sonic. I will leave a link below for everything that I've talked about today. I'll try to find similar items to this. Um, but yeah, all in all guys, let me know if you have questions or comments below on any of these lights or if you have different lights that you use, also let me know below so I can help share the word about some great different tools out there. So until next time, see you then.